All right, guys. Well, I forgot to charge my battery last night, so this is going to be a quick one. Went ahead and got everything welded and cleaned up the best I could. I drilled uh, one-inch holes here and here. Went by track supply. Got some hickeys. They're going to go in these holes. Hopefully, get them out of hickey like that. Hope the nut will fit on them. Right. And now I'm ready to, I uh, took some scrap angle I had, drilled some one inch hole in it, and we're now we're getting ready to weld it on the center. So I've got to find center here. I'm gonna leave a two inch gap, so it'll be a, an inch on each side of center. And we'll be ready to weld that on. Now this thing is, 36 and a half, so three feet, half of that's 18 and a quarter. Right. So 18 and a quarter is center. So 17 and a quarter would be one inch, 19 and a quarter would be one inch. So I'm gonna put them right up through there. That'll give me two inches of clearance between them, which will be plenty enough for the uh, third leg with the adjustable link to go. So I'll take and weld these up like that. They're a little longer than I needed. Now I may end up, I should have cut these into a wedge where I could weld them a little better. And I may end up having to go back and do that. <clears throat> I didn't, I had some smaller angle, but it was too small, wouldn't allow enough room. I don't think for the, uh, top link to attach so you know I didn't even think about uh, the way they were going to be might have been enough room with them I had some two inch angle but I've already got these cut so I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to get these welded up alright well it ain't the prettiest welding but uh, I did get it pretty good on this side. I got a little bit in the middle and got a little on that side. I think I got a little in the top on both sides. I didn't really fool the bottom here. I just didn't figure there's no need in it. Uh, all I like now is hooking these in and on both sides and I uh, got some paint over here. Some black Rust-Oleum flat black and some rusty metal primer. But unfortunately, it is uh, it's about 45 degrees out today. I just don't believe it's going to do the paint. All right, guys. Well, here it is with the uh, hitch pins installed. And got that I'm not really happy with the way this looks the the angle iron was just a little bit uh, cut a little bit too long I wished I'd cut it off a little shorter I didn't hear where it would have fit a little better but it is what it is I think I'm gonna take a grinding wheel uh, cut off wheel and trim these edges uh, this one's pretty close but this one's a pretty good bit I can almost Stick half my finger there, where this one, you know, pretty close. So, I think I can trim them up a little bit. Now I'm going to get a flat wheel. Got a 40 grit. Four, uh, that's a 120 grit. This ain't one I wanted. Shoot. I don't have a 40 grit. Uh, we'll figure out something and clean the rust off, and then we'll shoot some primer on it. And hopefully we'll get some paint on it today also. So show you what that looks like. Alright guys, got a primer job on it and it's a, still a little bit cool today, so using some rust oil and rusty metal primer, but I did go over most of it with the uh flat wheel. Got a lot of this rust off of this thing. Missed a few spots that I found after I started priming. Got a good bit of runs in it, but who cares? It's going to be a farm implement. It's going to sit out in the weather. I'm just putting a little paint on it, try to keep it from rusting. I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of it. I've got some flat black. And uh, 
then all I want to light really is the bottom of this. So uh, probably will be uh, tomorrow or sometime. I missed a little bit of primer on that. Sometime or other I'll try to finish this up. But anyway, uh, next time you see it, hopefully it'll be on the back of the tractor. Hi right, guys, welcome back. Sorry it took so long to get this video up. I've been waiting on a pretty day. It's been raining. I got it done. Unfortunately, it's 36 degrees today and my battery is weak on my big tractor, so it won't crank. I tried to jump it off. The battery's too weak. Now I went ahead and put my ball in here. But I run into an issue. Maybe y'all can tell how kink this thing is trying to get this pin straight. This pin just does not line up. I don't know why. It needs this needs to come up. It just won't it won't line up. So what I'm gonna have to do is make these holes a little bigger or get a smaller pin one. But uh, this is the ball I'm gonna be using. It's a three three ball hitch. I didn't really need but two of them. I don't we don't use the little balls, the one seven eighths. We use the two inch and the two and uh five sixteenths inch. So instead of having to swap balls all the time, I just bought a, one of these. And now I'm wondering if this thing's bent or if this thing's bent. This is brand new, so sure to God it ain't bent. But anyway. Here it is, all flat black. And I was kind of in a rush trying to get it painted and didn't quite get a good coverage, but it'll be all right. It's going to be out here in the weather. So I was going to show y'all what it looked like on the tractor, but unfortunately I can't. So anyway, we'll get this video posted where we can get, get, it, get part two up. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't.